Hey guys, welcome back to Engineers Tech Up channel. So we are going to continue another session for manual testing. So last session we have discussed what is HDLC, right? We have also explained you the like all the phases of the HDLC. I've given the example of TCS and Apple, right? So that is fine, but be having the many things inside this this all six pages. So we will explore if someone will ask you. What is the six phases of the HDLC, right? So we have a requirement or analysis phase, sorry, requirement or initial phase, then analysis phase, be having the designing phase, be having the coding phase, and be having the testing phase, delivery and maintenance phase. So I have just given the example. So let them like let let me like explore like all these phases. So we have a requirement phase. So in the requirement phase, we have a task. Who will gather the task? So the task of the requirement page is gathering the task from the client, okay? Roles, so who is involved here? So business analyst or engagement managers will, uh, you know, involve here. The process, what is the process? So I have, you know, explained you already. The TCS people will go for the client location, like our client is Apple, right? So business analyst will go for the client place and take the appointment from the client uh, in this date. Business analyst will gather the requirement from the client with the help of template and come back to the company. They will gather uh, all the requirement, the help of we having the, some template. I will also discuss engagement manager and team will go through that requirement. Okay, they will come back to them. And again, they will go through the requirement, adding some uh, value of some requirement and modifying some requirement. Finally, one clear requirement will come out. So after gathering the requirement, you know, some modification will also happen. Then they will create a one final requirement. So what is the proof of this? In this phase, we have a proof document that is called FRS. So functional requirement specification document or be having the BRS that is called business requirement a specification document should depend upon the company. What is the name of that? But it should be a one document. Then this you can say like crs client or customer requirement specification document or you can say bdd business design document okay what is template so like a, this is like simple word it is a predefined format which is used for gather the total requirement so this is you know requirement phase okay so let's move in the another phase second phase is called analysis phase like right? so like we the task is feasibility study, right? Tentative planning, select the technology and confirm the environment and requirement. So these are the these are the things we having the inside this analysis phase. Roles, who is involved here? System analyst or project manager. Feasibility study, it is a detailed study of requirement in order to accomplish one project successfully within the duration and they can analyze here and mention in this section okay tentative planning to complete this project successfully what are the analyzing analyzing the temporary mention in here in this document so like example once again guys so like example resource planning scheduling, so on right so this is this all the things they are going to discuss in the tentative planning so let's move in the Select a uh, technology and confirm the environment. So these are all the things. Okay, so to complete this project successfully, what is the best technology environment? They can analyze and mention here in this section. Requirement analysis. To accomplish this project successfully, what the company need to provide the facility like the hardware, software, resources. Then again, here we have also one proof document in this phase, we have a proof document is called SRS document. That is called system requirement a specification. Okay. So let's move in the another designing phase. Okay. So this is your designing phase. So task is we have a high level design. Then we have a low level design. Who is involved here? Here we having the chief architecture engineer or team leads are there. So we have a high level design and we have a low level design. 
So chief architect engineer will divide the total requirement in the module by using the UML, di UML diagram. So one diagram is that that is called UML diagram. If you want to explore, you can Google it. What is the UML diagram? You will get some idea. Then we have a low level design. So team lead will divide the module into the sub module by using UML diagram. Model is what? Combination of any related features. Here also we having the proof document guys. So this is your interview question. All the document, what is the TDD? In this phase, the proof document is TDD. That is called technical design document, okay? So let's move in the coding phase. Now we are in the coding phase. Task is developing the code for the client requirement. Roles is developer or programmers are there. Or process is using the technical design document software developing the actual source code. Then we having the proof. Proof is your source code document that is called one, you know, every phase is we having the document, right? Testing page. In the testing page, we having the testing the developed application, okay? So now we have the testing phase, right? So what we do in the testing phase, so we already know that, right? If you are new, let, let them, uh, you know, explain. Okay, so testing phase, testing the develop application, right? So whatever the application we have developed, we have to test it. Here, roles is your test engineer. Okay, the process. So guys, uh, this is not a, a static process, right? It depends upon the company as well. But yeah, some of the you know process are same. So let's uh, explore this. What is the process? Test engineer will require the FRS document, right? Or whatever the document you requirement you need, right? And study and try to understand the order to raise the many doubts and mention into the FRS issue notes. These document they are sending to the business analyst for clarified doubt. After that, test engineer once come to come uh, once again go for the FRS doc understand the clearly all the requirement in order to find the scenario and maintain into the test scenario documentation. Okay, each and every scenario purpose to test steps the writing the test cases mentioned into the test cases documentation to finalizing test cases conducting the previous developer and developing the application and define into the local server and releasing to the testing department with the help of software release notes guys so here the most important things to understand requirement document and you having the doubt we can reach out to our business analyst and who is the poc here our in the starting phase understanding the requirement and finding the scenario and be having the 100 percent test coverage if you miss something then again the defect leakage will come in your production so we have to understand clear requirement then you can start the testing if you will not understand the requirement and how you will test it right so this all the things we have to take care okay so let's move so same thing i have mentioned here so using the information test engineer will execute in one by one test cases or the application in order to find the defect and mention into the defect profile document so again, while doing the testing, so I'm not going to here explain the agile process and all. I have already uh, created a video for daily basis. What is your job for a sprint basis? What is your task and all, okay? So finally, these documents are sending to the development department for the rectification purpose to test engineer will test really defect are rectified or not. If it is rectified and close the testing, if it is not rectified, then once again, the raise the defect and development department. Some process will be continue and continue whether the application is defect free. So our job is to provide the best quality of the application, right? So our job is to find the defect, right? So it should be a defect free. It's not a hundred percent, but yeah, it should not having the leakage in your production. Okay. So proof document is a uh, proof is a uh, quality application. So what is scenario? Scenario, it is a situation where the scope is to be tested and test case means it is the one where the particular scenario to be tested. 
okay this all the things we can cover in the depth in the coming session no worries then we having the another phase is delivery and maintenance so everything is developed then it will go for the deliver to the client and we having the maintenance phase task is delivery the application to the client roles installation engineer and deployment engineer process deployment engineer will deploying the application into the client requirement environment successfully and hand over original software into the client so we having the proof is close the official agreement okay now the it will come for the product is delivered now we having the maintenance we have to provide the maintenance right so we having the normal maintenance and we have a continuous maintenance right so normal maintenance means whenever end user using the application they are finding some error that all kind of the task and assigned to the company and they are rectified and releasing to the patches and these process calling and normal maintenance what is the continuous maintenance whenever one team will go for the client and continuous this process is called you know uh, called as a continuous maintenance okay so here guys so we having the qa and qc this all the things we will discuss in the coming session so that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon if you missed the previous video of, of manual testing please watch okay thank you so much so in the next video bye bye